Hey folks, Dan Furrier here with the Mortgage Update. It is September 30th, 2019, and we have good news, bad news, and good news. The last good news is basically for home buyers and mortgage rates. So let's start out with the good news. Good news is uh, those who follow me know that when we look at the MBS markets, this is up 14. That is good because this actually is the component that uh, all mortgage rates are tied to. So this is the price of mortgage-backed securities. As the price, as we know, goes up, mortgage rates go down. Okay, so today was a very good day in the mortgage-backed securities market, so a good day for interest rates. So let's get on to the markets. I briefly go over, if you follow me every day, I briefly go over what happened in, or what's going to happen in the stock market tomorrow and what to look forward to. Uh, so tomorrow, what we go to is we look at the futures index. And you can go to any, there's a lot of websites, CNBC, CNN, Yahoo Finance. Um, I just kind of grab one just to kind of go through. They're, they're all the same number. But just to let you know, what this is telling us is tomorrow, this is expecting the S&P average, or the S&P is going to open up 4.25, uh, the NASDAQ up 11, and the Dow is up 41. This is what happens. So you're going to see a lot of things. I'll, I'll teach you a little bit of something today on uh, you know what these numbers represent. Futures is basically saying you know what, what tomorrow is going to open at. Okay? You and I don't have the privy of trading once the markets close. And we don't have the privy of trading before the market opens. Others or institutions do. So you can kind of see here, this says pre-market. This is what's going on behind the scenes on these stocks. So if you as an individual want to walk in, you're going to pay on this Invesco. It's, it's up $17.55. So you're going to buy from where it ended yesterday for us and where it opens for us there's a three dollar uh, three percent difference institutions can close or buy stocks after the market close closes and before the market opens so I bet you didn't know that part of it so this is just telling us tomorrow's going to be a, not a bad day however here's where it starts the bad news the rally in the US stocks begin to fizzle out okay so you're gonna see this is going to play a big role and this is going to pay another big role in what's going to happen in the market so it's like i said every day when we when we follow the markets let's get back to the mortgage backed securities market we follow the market i look at trends so trends right now this is giving us good so again up in price means rates are coming down we hit we were down in this range for a while this created a floor and a ceiling we've closed above that ceiling which was great news so if you follow me on friday uh, that was great news. We 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 uh, closed above this, which is now giving us a new floor and a new ceiling. So we're expecting rates to even get better. But again, this is in a normal market. So let's say tomorrow Iran bombs Saudi Arabia, or more impeachment stuff comes out about Trump, or more tariffs on China or other places. Th throw this out the window. You have to monitor this on a pretty much a minute by minute basis. And that's what I do. That's what I do for all my clients. I watch this on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. So that's why I always consider, if you ever watch some of my videos, I say I'm a mortgage advisor, not a loan officer. It's easy to take an application, pull credit, give a pre-approval, and just close the loan. But I, I hopefully I can advise you on what we should do, which kind of program should we go into, why, when we should lock in your rates. We're following the markets, and this is what we do. So just to give you a, a, a recap, the, the Dow closed up today, um, up 96. But we, what we need to watch for are a lot of, uh, of technicals or information that's coming out that is going to affect the market. So what we're going to see is uh, manufacturing numbers actually came out today, and they were bad. They were, we had the, probably the slowest um, manufacturing numbers since the third quarter of 2009. It's bad. But again, bad news can be good news in certain areas. So the bad news for the economy is good news 
for home buyers and interest rates. So again, I had good news, bad news, and good news. So good news is it was a great day. Bad news is the economy's slowing and there's all kind of things out about Trump. Um, but again, the good news is that is bringing mortgage rates down. So if you haven't refinanced, you know, do it. If your rate's above four on a conventional and FHA VA loan, uh, you might want to do something. So this week, what's coming out is some employment numbers on Wednesday and Friday. Those numbers are going to give us how many people are employed or unemployed, and then also wage growth. Wage growth is something else that we monitor to keep a track on what's going on in, in, with inflation. So that's what we got for today. So again, if I can be of any help to you, please let me know. I'd love to help. You can call me at 844-775-LOAN. You can reach me via email at dfrio, which is F-R-I-O, at parksidelending.com. Um, those are the ways to get a hold of me. But again, if you're in the needs for a mortgage or refinance, reach out to me. At least give me, a, give me the opportunity of giving you a quote. You might be surprised. God bless. I will see you tomorrow.